Hi, India. How are you? Hey, Charlene. How's it going? Good. I thank you again for doing this. Um, you know, yeah. we're all just bored at home. So, <laughs> all right. Um, so the first question I did want to get into was like, what originally got you into acting? Uh, both my parents are, are and were in the industry. My, uh, my dad still owns a theater school. My mom, both of them were dancers. My dad was kind of more of a Broadway guy. And then uh, I just kind of grew up in it and it felt like home. Okay, that's awesome. And then um, originally when I saw you on Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, I was like, she looks so familiar. <laughs> so of course, I did my research and I was like, oh, you were on Blood and Oil episodes of, um, what was it, How I Met Your Mother. Yep. And I recently started Younger and you popped up. So... <laughs> So yeah, I, I tend to pop up every now yeah. and then. <laughs> so of all your performances, which character was your favorite to play? Oh, I'm, I'm attached to different projects for different reasons. Mm -hmm. um, I would say Heaven Probably Saves the World is a show that has a big piece of my heart. I just, I made a, some great friends on that show and I really loved um, the lightness of it. Blood and Oil, some of my best friends to this day I met on that show. Um, and it was cool to play a feisty, strong woman. Yeah. Um, Zoe's playlist is awesome because singing and dancing is just like the most fun ever. I think the most challenging, exciting uh, job I've had was Veep. Okay, awesome. Definitely on my list to watch. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, if you could choose three actresses or actors to work with, who are your top favorites? Carrie Mulligan is my favorite actress yeah. on the planet. She's, so <laughs> She's just, her, you feel, her eyes feel like the deepest puddle on earth. You could just yeah. fall into. She's so much depth. <laughs> um, I think Robert Downey Jr. would probably be a ton of fun. Mm. He's, he's got so much charisma and charm. Um, Kate Blanchett, she's mm. pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. And so let's talk about Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist because I believe that's the recent, most recent. Uh, yes, Zoe and One Day at a Time. Okay. And so um, which was your favorite episode? Uh, probably the last one I shot, which was episode nine, I think. Mm -hmm. um, John and I, John who plays Simon, had a big emotional dance number. Yeah. Um, to happier. And that was one of the most amazing experiences of my career. By yeah. Sure. And um, when I did the post for questions for you, so many of your fans were saying how amazing that performance was. And like, it was their favorite scene in the whole like, season. <laughs> it was, I, it, I can't, I mean, just on the day, the connection between the two of us, we literally sat in a, in, in Simon's office off to one side while everybody was setting up sobbing for four hours straight oh <laughs> we, were, we were trying to stay in the right place because the scene is supposed to begin at the end of a breakup right. so trying to stay in that moment of having just broken off a, a coming marriage you know yeah. you would be pretty brokenhearted at that point so we were trying to stay in that moment so that we could be in the right place to start the piece and yeah. by the end of the day i think we were both just so exhausted yeah <laughs> And um, if you weren't playing Jessica, which character would you have wanted? To oh, Zoe, for sure. <laughs> She's the best. Why? Is it just like more singing and everything? Or was it just... I, I just, I love what Jane does with the character. She's so quirky and mm -hmm. fun and lovable, but real and vulnerable. And she makes mistakes and everything about her is... She's not just a one-dimensional character. Jane is doing such an incredible job mm -hmm. um, of... of giving Zoe so much depth and she's so honest the yeah. way that she plays the role is just so honest and it's I, I just love watching her yeah amazing and then are there any funny stories that happen on set that you can tell us about oh man I'm trying to think everything ran pretty smoothly mm -hmm. I mean we had a fire drill one day <laughs> and all ended up standing out in the car park uh, and it's a dog friendly set. So it was just us and like a bunch of dogs <laughs> and everyone was getting dog cuddles back when you could all still be within six feet of each other. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I don't remember anything crazy happening 
mm-hmm. on set. Andrew Leeds is an old buddy of mine. Um, Andrew, who plays David on the show, Zoe's brother. So he and I jumped on a bus and went to Whistler for the day. Oh, awesome. And this like really cool spa where you jump into freezing cold water and then jump into hot water and then jump into the steam room. And, yeah, and that that's so awesome. And then um, I think I read that you guys filmed both in San Francisco and British Columbia? Uh, yeah, we were up in Vancouver. Okay. I never shot in San Francisco because I wasn't okay. in, in any of the exterior shots that they um, they shot. Um, so I was going to ask if you ever tried a cheese uh, cheese quake thing. <laughs> no, I didn't get to. I'm kind of bummed. I was even in a scene with cheese quakes and I haven't tried one. <laughs> um, all right. And then um, I saw that you started selling your earrings. Well, what, almost. Yeah. Well, what got you into that? You know, honestly, I just started making them um, for fun because yeah. what else are we supposed to do right now? I mean, I have a two-year-old, so he keeps me pretty busy, but I like to make stuff. And so making things in the time that I have to myself just kind of keeps me sane. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's like meditation for me. Totally. So I was just making them for fun, but then everybody kept messaging me asking for them. And at first I was like, I, I mean, there's no way. There's no way I'll ever be able to make enough to give everybody one, it's not yeah. possible. Um, but then after talking to friends of mine, they're like, well, what does it hurt? If it makes you happy and maybe it makes somebody else happy, just make yeah. what you can whilst this is happening and work's kind of on hold. Totally. But, um, the tough part is that everything is uh, um, a little running, little running a little behind. So of course I have to register a business and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. So I'm now just kind of waiting for the official stuff to go through. And then, yeah, I'll, I should have a batch to, Give okay. out to whoever wants yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, the name is June Riot, correct? Yes. How'd you come up with that name? <sighs> like weeks and weeks of going over names. Uh, I wanted something. Honestly, I feel like I'm such a, f- I'm, I'm so, I'm, sorry, I'm a hardcore feminist. So I was looking for something that felt powerful, but I didn't want to be too obvious with it. Right. Um, and so I like the idea of a riot, a peaceful riot, but just the idea that women, you know, um, strong women can come together and, you know, the Women's March or Me Too or Time's Up and just have that sort of collaborative moment of strength and defiance um, fighting for equality. So I knew that I was, the most popular earring I've made is a little earring that says fem- feminist on it. Mm-hmm. So I knew that that was probably gonna be the earring I was gonna sell the most. And also just in terms of being a f- small business, a, f- a female small business owner and right. just wanting to feel strong in myself. So I picked a rowdy name, but then I'm born in June. Amazing. And uh, <laughs> I, I, want, I just wanted something else a bit more simple. Oh, that's awesome. And then um, these are questions from your fans that came in. Um, What time do you wake up normally? (laughs) Oh, if I'm lucky, 7 a.m. If my son sleeps in. Okay. And then um, what's been your favorite show to act in? I think we already talked about that. Yeah. I mean, one day at a time, probably because my husband is one of the series regulars on the show and I get to play his love interest. (laughs) And the show's awesome, and the the cast's so awesome, and the fans are just like the most incredible. Right. Yeah. Okay. And what are your fashion inspirations? Uh, Audrey Hepburn. I love a bit of Audrey. Um, I like anything eclectic. People who like to mix prints. Mm-hmm. Um, Vivian Westwood has always been a huge inspiration to me. Okay. She's just hella cool. <laughs> <laughs> love it. And then um, what was your favorite thing about working on Zoe's playlist? The getting to dance. Mandy Moore is so incredible. And the team that she works with, Jillian and Jeff, the three of them together, they're like the sunshine room. That's where everybody <laughs> wants to go hang out to get happy. <laughs> and then um, somebody wanted to know where they can find more um, of your songs like that you've written or performed. You know, I, it's been a long time. When I was uh, a baby baby, um, I used to sing on a kid's show in England and I was in development for a little while writing, but I never released anything. I have a, a whole lot of songs <laughs> sitting on a computer. Um, but I've been, I was starting to work on something right before, uh, the shutdown okay. and I have a fun little project in the works that I'm going to hopefully pull together and uh, throw out at some point this year. Amazing. All right. 
And then this one I got a lot. Are you Team Simon or Team Max? I am neither team. I am Team Zoe. <laughs> somebody said that too. <laughs> yeah. And then um, somebody said, if Jessica was invited to season two, what would you like to see for her plot? More singing and dancing. <laughs> Definitely. And I would love for her and Zoe to be friends. Okay. All right. And then um, I know we talked a little bit about your happier performance, but um, somebody wanted to know how was your experience dancing to it? And like, was it hard, the singing and the dancing choreography hard for you? Well, the singing is pre-recorded. Mm -hmm. so we're just lip syncing to that on the day. Um, and that singing, recording that song was hard. I, I recorded it once and then um, I ended up going back and re-recording it because I made it a little too happy the first time. And it was really hard to find the right um, tone for the song. Sure. And John just had it straight away. And so, but we didn't record together at the same time. So then I went back to kind of try to match, to uh, match a little bit more to what he was doing. I was in the room with him listening to him, but not physically singing with him. Uh -huh. So I think I just needed to hear him sing it once to then go back and, and, and match him. Um, yeah. He's so, God, he's so talented. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. And then um, someone said, if there's a season two and you were asked to come back, would you? And if yes, um, besides like the singing and acting and being friends with Zoe, where would you want it to go? Uh, hell yes, I would go back in a heartbeat. Um, I don't know. You know, it's a tough one. The show is... It really is uh, Zoe's story. And I think a character like Jessica is um, much more of a satellite character. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think it's more about where the show takes Zoe and, uh, and, and how Jessica fits into that. Okay. So it's hard for me to say, but I'm super excited for there to be a second season of the show, really hoping that they get to hear soon that the show's been picked up and uh, hopefully they get to make make the show for many many more years to come I hope so <laughs> it's so awesome and they're such good people yeah and then um besides your performances um what was your favorite dance combos throughout like the whole season I really loved the last number I was sobbing mm -hmm. um I the America uh Bye Bye American Pie yeah um Miss American Pie <laughs> uh I was just god Andrew, who plays David, when he and um, when he and Peter had their sort of emotional moment together, after that, I just I couldn't I couldn't bring it back. Oh, yeah, I, I think everybody was crying for that. Oh, wreck me. <laughs> Even I was. And I was like in bed just sobbing. It was. I mean, it, I haven't cried like that. And honestly, I think in this moment of everything being kind of crazy, it was cathartic. Yeah. But I, I don't know if you know that it's a, it's a based, all based on a true story. Austin, the showrunner, it's uh, Peter, the character that Peter plays, Mitch, is based on Austin's father. Oh, wow. So um, you might have seen a little uh, title card at the end with a picture of Austin and his dad. And I think knowing the truth of everything throughout the whole shoot oh, just really made it all feel, um, brought it to home a, a lot more. Yeah. All right. Well, that's actually all the questions I have. <laughs> we flew through them. <laughs> go, go, go. Is, is there anything um, you want to end on or anything like that? Oh, I don't know. The fans have been so awesome. The fans for the show, they're so supportive. And I think if they want the show to come back, then just keep supporting. Oh, they are. <laughs> and, yeah, sending your love, letting NBC know that you want the show to come back. Mm -hmm. And thank you, everybody, for watching. And I'm so glad that people really loved all the, the numbers. And uh, yeah, just grateful. All right. Amazing. Again, thank you so much for oh, being nice able to, to do this. You too. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Have a good day. Stay well. Stay safe. You too. Bye. Bye.